Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. I hope your day has been well. And if not, that's okay. I hope your night is smooth. All praises be to my universal powers. Thank you, my divine feminine and my divine masculine for this day, for these energies. I'm receptive to the energies that I need to receive in order to do this monology oracle reading for our twins, the Geminis. Yes, yes, yes. All praises be to my divine power. Thank you to my higher self for leading me. <laughs> What do I need to attune into so that I can give the Geminis their lovely Moonology reading? What is next for the Geminis? That's the question. What is next for the Geminis? Two more cards, please, my divine spirit. Is there anything that the Geminis need to focus on? All right. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so this will be a three card Moonology Oracle reading. And first, I wanna say thank you all for the support and for your consistency in watching these videos. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So, I have full moon in Cancer for the first card for you, Gemini. Let me show you the card. So, a personal issue reaches resolution. Things are likely to get very heated as full moon in Cancer is a super emotional time, a super emotional sign. So there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question. It's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card. There are some very fine sensibilities around. So tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It, it also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up. Nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card is also suggests both that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head and that it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kinder leader. This is time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. Attune to the moon. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Additional meanings for this card. Meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. Have you had enough family time lately? The teaching. The heightened emotions of the moon cancer combination can't be ignored. However, cancer is one of the moon's two home signs along with Taurus. So astrologically speaking, the moon loves to be in this sign. In fact, she rules cancer. This means that with this card, there's a sense that all is as it should be or don't worry, all will soon be well. Awesome. 
So a personal issue is reaching a resolution with y'all. That is wonderful. That is wonderful. So take these oracle readings as they resonate. Apply them to your life. Whatever is dwelling on your mind, whatever you are feeling strongly when you watch these videos, that is exactly what you need to pay attention to as I read these cards <laughs> out of this book. Okay, so step out of your comfort zone, North Node. Let me show you the beautiful purple picture. There's a strong feeling when you get this card that it's time to leave the past behind somehow because you are headed in the right direction. If you want to be happy and fulfilled, you need to get going towards doing the thing that scares you within reason. This card is also about living your life purpose, which is possibly what you've asked about. Urging, It's urging you to dare to do something different with your life and your direction to take action. So, are you willing to follow through and lead the life you incarnated to live? If you finally find the courage to make the leap, there's a good chance you'll come to ask yourself, why did I wait so long? Attune to the moon. I know I'm headed in the right direction. Additional meanings for this card. You are headed for something which feels like destiny. You need to face a fear and get over it. Time to stop obsessing about someone or something. Stand on your own two feet, baby. You've got this. The teaching, the North Node is where the moon crosses the ecliptic going north. It's a karmic point and on the horoscope chart shows us what we need to do and where we need to go with our life to find satisfaction, fulfillment, and happiness. The North Node is a karmic astro... astro <laughs> <sighs> Let me get some water because I'm over here getting tongue-tied. All right, so the North Node is the karmic astrological point that reminds us to paraphrase, excuse me, that in order to discover new oceans, we have to be prepared to lose sight of the shore. So don't be afraid to step out into the unknown, Geminis. Step out of your comfort zone and let your faith take the front and center step for you okay so next i have cardinal moon if you ever feel like you want to take some deep breaths with me please feel free to do so it's so refreshing so let me show you the card. Be bold and make the first move. Cardinal Moon. Now is the time to be bold, bossy even. Take matters into your own hands. Cardinal signs are powerful and self-starting. They're determined and great at organizing. Drawing this card strongly suggests that you're going to need to be all those things to get your ideal resolution or position in the situation you are asking about. This card may challenge you on how strongly you want something. If you're worrying about a situation, it is a suggestion to be less passive. Instead, take an assertive stance as you steer events where you want them to go. Speak up for what you want. If you are serious about sorting things out, you may need to take the lead in some way to step up as a leader. Attune to the moon. I am taking charge of my destiny. Okay, attune that to the moon, loves. 
Additional meanings for this card. Be bold and follow your heart, your emotions. Avoid recklessness or moving too fast. Come into your power. The time for action is now. The teaching. In astrology, there are three quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The cardinal signs are Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn. Remember, we each have all 12 signs in our chart for different parts of our lives. It's just the way the astrological wheel works. There are the signs that like to get things started and which are the natural leaders. No matter when you draw this card, it's a sign that something new is starting and you quite, and you quite possibly need to take the lead on it. Awesome. So take charge of your destiny, my lovely twins. And if something new is starting in your life, whatever it is, whatever it may be, you have all the tools to take lead for this. You're qualified for this position. Don't let nobody else try to take lead, especially if you know it's fit for you, if it's a role fit for you, okay? Step up, be a woman, be a man, take lead. Ashe, all praises be to my higher self, my divine universal energies. Thank you for lending me the energies to do this Oracle Moonology reading for the Geminis. Thank you all for watching and also like, comment, share, and subscribe. I will be back next Saturday to do your reading. I love you all. Peace.